In this brief tutorial on the web exercises and posture screen mobile integration, I'm going to walk you through a basic exercise protocol. What we're going to do is I'm going to go to a patient that we already have an evaluation on. Her name is Cheryl Smith. I'm going to open up Cheryl's case and you can see here we have all her deviations. And then what we're going to do is we can look at her posture. Now if we look at her posture we can see that her, her shoulder is high on the right. Her head is slightly translated to the left and laterally flexed back to the right. Her rib cage is to the right of her pelvis. Okay, and those are her basic deviations from the front view. From the side view, comparing her head to her thorax, her head is flexed and translated forward. Thorax is posteriorly translated with some extension. Her hips are extended, <coughs> excuse me, anteriorly translated and flexed relative to her knee and ankle. So when we come to the next screen, we're going to bypass that the motion capture analysis unless you're going to prescribe exercise based on a functional movement screen. In this tutorial, we're not going to do so. And if you have any questions on the evidence-based protocols of chiropractic biophysics, please uh, feel free to uh, browse to our website at idealspine.com. Getting back to this, we have pictures of what her posture looks like over on the side here. So I'm going to start with some mirror image postural based exercise protocols and I'm going to match what she has. So she has anterior head translation. I want to go ahead and give her <coughs> five sets, keep it at five sets. I have it at daily already because I've already prescribed this exercise and remembered it last time. Next, let's do her the thoracic AP posture. I can see that she has a right high shoulder, her rib cage is slightly to the right. So, <clears throat> if you look here, here is the left rib cage translation, <clears throat> excuse me, left rib cage flexion and right rib cage translation. If I want to change the sets and reps, I can do so here as well. And of course, I want to make that a daily occurrence. Now, with one credit, you can prescribe up to 20 exercises. Not that you're going to do that, but you have two days up to change that exercise. And for the most part, um, just you will prescribe just a handful of exercises not to overwhelm the, the patient or the client. <clears throat> With that being said, I can see right here that her, her thorax, or excuse me, her pelvis is anteriorly translated relative to her feet. So let's go ahead and fix that. We're going to go ahead and prescribe that exercises. Now I would like to also prescribe some functional exercises. So I want to do a core exercise and I want to prescribe, I, I like this as well as uh, this exercise and if we wanted to do any other types of exercises we could do so um, I think I like uh, we'll do a specific abdominal mirror image exercise and there we go three times a week on that one and as you know we have upwards of 250 exercises currently programmed and if you would like to see what an exercise is from this menu we can also go ahead and preview any exercise. So for instance, if I wanted to go into the abdominal exercises and I wanted to <clears throat> preview this one, all I would have to do is click preview. It will call up the web exercise server and there is the exercise prescription. And if we click that link, it's gonna open up the video. Okay, so now <clears throat> to save time, let's go ahead and move on in this tutorial. Those are the exercises that we're currently gonna prescribe for the patient. Next, we're going to go to traction. If you are a <clears throat> healthcare provider that has x-ray privileges and can read x-rays like a chiropractor, um, you may uh, use this dental traction for restoration of the cervical lordotic curve. We'll have other dental and other types of exercise protocols and traction as we go along, but we have the cervicals in here now. Since I know the patient, she has a military um, uh, neck. So we're going to go ahead and do a lower neck since I've already looked at her x-rays. That's the best position. Again, uh, if you're a therapist or fitness professional, um, you're not going to be prescribing in dental traction for your client. Move it along. If I wanted to send this to the patient, of course, I could go ahead and email to the patient or the client. As you know, um, securely, I can password protect the email if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that right now. I want to go back and since this focus is on exercise, we come down here to the bottom and I'm going to say email exercise program. Now mind you, this is not prescribed during acute care or during a spinal screening. This is in corrective rehabilitative structural based care 
Um, when your patient or client gets to that point, that's when these exercises are going to be prescribed. So as soon as I hit that, it contacts securely to the web exercises platform in the cloud. And if you have a web exercises uh, account, it's going to securely sync and push that exercise right to the web exercises platform and create that patient account or amend to a patient account if they already exist. To see what they look like, let's go ahead and hit open web exercise. Now your patient also got a copy of it. And what we're gonna do is we're calling up the exercise protocol just so you can see what the patient is going to get. And at this point in time, let's go ahead and press agree. And these are the exercise protocols. Okay, now if I wanted to see what an exercise looked like, I could at this point in time, click view. And this is the exercise. Okay. And if I wanted to view the video, or your patient would, all they do is click this, and it's gonna open up the exercise. And if, you, if they have an internet connection, all they have to do is hit play, and at this point in time, it's gonna stream the video directly to them in real time on their mobile device or on their Windows or Mac computer. Okay, so you can see a nice core activity Okay, which, by the way, is also a mirror image exercise. Remember that her pelvis was anteriorly translated relative to her feet, so that plank position is a mirror image for that posture, incidentally. I can go back and do exercise um, my exercises for the patient, so this is exactly what the patient would be seeing. And if we wanted to go through, we could go, go through and click the mirror image exercise. Okay, so we have them all here, okay? Now I had some other exercises already prescribed for the patient and those are in here. For instance, I already had this prior, uh, previously prescribed for the patient as well too. Okay, so if you have any more questions on how to utilize the web exercise platform, uh, feel free to reach out to us at info at postureco.com. And hopefully you enjoyed that brief tutorial on the web exercise integration with Posture Screen Mobile.